All right, guys, here's what we're going to do today. So we're going to bore this diameter out. Customer specifies for a 94 millimeter piston. And we're going to use three quarter inch, four flute, high speed steel, end mill. I got my little notes here. I've taken forever. And we're going to do it right here on the bridge port. Easy track. fired up the computer and uh, what I got to do is it's got to it's got to go home so you, you pull the handles out of it kind of stand back from it because she'll home herself out on the old bridge board going home and then what I'm gonna do is I'll go over here and I'll indicate that first hole and I usually just go to enter, 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 zero, zero, where I was at the last little job. But you want to keep your your bits out of that. Because if that little handle's out, it starts spinning. All right, now, so that was the home location of the last job. So this is where I'm going to set my Z0 using a piece of paper. I just stick it under here like this till I feel some drag on it. I mean, you can scratch it, but we'll do that later. I'm going to set my Z stop. Now you got to bring these up a little bit. And I always kind of feel the handle. Right about there is a good spot. And then what you want to do is push it down on it. And see what you got. Just a little bit more. There we go. So, on the easy track here, I'm going to do a do event. I'm going to uh, mill a circle. It's going to be an inside circle. Tool diameter is 0.740. Dark center, 0, 0. My Z depth, you just have to put anything. I always just put minus 0.2. <clears throat> now here's my radius. According to my little chart here, um, the head on a 94 millimeter jug gets bored to 101.1 millimeters. And since we're in America, I'm going to go ahead and call that 3.986. Um, I got to do some math here. I got to get my phone. I'm going to do some mathematics. <clears throat> So, the mathematics I have to do, I could double check my, my numbers here that I wrote down on my piece of paper, which is uh, 101.1 times 0 .03937. That converts it to, to American. 3.980. And wow, see? That says 3.986. So what I'm doing is I'm giving myself a little bit of clearance there. So since we know 3.980 divided by 2, it gives us 1.990 on our radius. 1.990. Approach. That's how much it takes to go into the part. I usually go 0.5 on these. Allowance 0.0. .0. 10, that's how much it's going to leave on the finished pass. Pocket step over, 0.2. So four fluid end mill on aluminum. So I usually leave it at 10 inches a minute. You can go faster. I think I'm going to bump down to 8 in a finished pass at 10. So that's what I was talking about, stirring your jewels. That can happen real fast. Ooh. Mm. Telling you. So what I usually like to do is... Uh, Let it go ahead and run a pass. 
pick it up in high gear. I take my notebook away. And then I kind of just see what it's going to cut. I know it's going to cut a little bit into there, so I'll just take a little bit of cut down through here. Make sure everything's concentric. And I always deck the block if that's bad. I don't want to kiss it just a little bit to see what's going on. I'm going fast on the feed rate right here. Do some high speed machining. Woo! So. We'll wheel around this a little bit, then we'll double check it with our charge calipers. I'm not sponsored, by the way. And this is for uh, my buddy Joey over at Dead End Air Cool here in Tulsa, Oklahoma. I already know it's going to be good. I've done these a few times. But for the viewers out there, that was the rough pass. And then here's the lead-in for the finish pass. That's the great thing about the easy track. It's things like this. So, and I do know that the 94 millimeters does kind of cut into those the clearance holes for the for the studs. So, I'm just going to double check here, make sure we're cutting where we need to be. And our number was uh, 3.986, and we are at 3.982 which is fine. Smaller is always better. So, we'll run this cycle again. All I'm gonna do is hit escape here on my dirty keyboard. I know where things are, so it's all right. And... I hit escape on my dirty little keyboard. And I'm going to do mill circle again. All the values are still in there except the step over and I just push point two. So now it start when ready. As of right now, I'm going to drop that, drop this in about half the way. And hit big G below. Handles are going, things are whirling. I need some air. Feel it to make sure it's not. I know that was going to happen. Oh, it's 
start. Same thing. I want to double check, make sure it's not going to. So we just kind of buzz around on the top a little bit, make sure. First time you don't do this step, you cut one back. I can tell usually by the third quadrant over that whether I'm good or not. Just like that.